want to stay relevant, because they ass ain't relevant to shit. Nothing. Block ass motherfuckers don't do nothing. Nothing at all. What I tell you, huh? <laughs> what I tell you, huh? What the fuck I tell you, man? First off, fuck what? I would say fuck Cash, really, but I think he the police. Shut the fuck up. Man, 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 man. Get your ass roasted and toasted out here. I ain't on the chair. came on here to see what the fuck y'all was talking about. God damn. I'm so hurt, man. I'm so fucking hurt. But never post happened to my boy, man. Damn. Well. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. I'm going back to sleep real quick, man. I ain't trouble. I love that dude, man. That nigga wasn't that BG, boy. I'm do all that crap, baby shit now. All right, here. Get up with y'all later. That shit bogus cash, man. Shut the fuck up. Niggas been trying to do the same thing to me. Fuck him.
Blessings, blessings. Peace to my guys out there, man. Super Bowl, Super Bowl. Who will be crowned the champion? You dig what I'm saying, man? <laughs> I can't wait, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a blessed, wonderful day, man. Much blessings to everybody out there. Listen to me, guys. I need y'all support, man. Come over there. Join me on Instagram, man. I got the link in the description. Also, come support us on the other YouTube channels. We got This Journey Called Life as one of our YouTube channels, Childish Visions. And we also got being there, Tyler Martin Rich, man. Come over there, support us on the uh, YouTube channels. We got the links in the uh, description, all three YouTube channels. And remember, guys, I got the PlayStation 5, and I also got the Xboxes if you need it. You dig what I'm saying? If you need it right now, come to the links. I got the, all the links in the description. Come on to get your game systems and stuff like that. Also, remember, at the Shopify, man, we make all type of great and amazing, amazing, shirts and clothing if you a local rapper out here that's trying to get your brand up link up up with us man we're gonna put your stuff together the proper and right way you know what i mean and we're gonna do the business proper and right also all the local rappers from virginia and all over chicago wherever you from promotions and stuff like that hit me in the email dog i'm telling you we do we promoting we doing it all on this platform man it's a business and we all gonna stand to do things the proper and correct way and we're gonna work together you dig what i'm saying like I told you before, the Patreon, come over there, support us on the Patreon. We got the link in the description. Also, you dig what I'm saying? It's, it's lit, man. You know what I mean? I love talking to all my people out there. Like I told you before, we're doing business. As we talk about a lot of the senseless violence that's going on in each and every city, we also like to show that people like myself and others, there's uh, black entrepreneurs out here that's striving to do things in a proper and great way. Like I said before, man, the Patreon is lit with great and amazing content. Come over there. Come join us on that. The description box is loaded, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to donate the cash tab, Billionaire Charlie, to support our channel and to support all the great things we do within the community with feeding the homeless and stuff of that nature uh, and just giving back. If you want to be a part of that, put your donation in and let us know at the cash out what you're donating for so we can get those um, funds to the proper situations. You dig? But anyway, man, <clears throat> FBG uh, Measle uh, had an unfortunate situation. He uh, was shot and killed at a party, you know what I mean? And um, I seen a couple of guys, I seen a guy that was on the internet on Instagram joking and laughing about it like it was a joke. I told people before, man, playing with the dead is a deadly and sinful sin, uh, thing and, and it should be done. You dig what I'm saying? FBG Duck Mom was coming out, she, she spoke her piece on it, and I respect everything she said. My only issue with FBG Duck Mom, uh, Mom is I, I don't want nothing bad to happen to this lady because I feel like she be speaking on anything and everything. Like I said, I don't know what type of protection she got, but I, I just, I don't want nothing to happen to, that, to her in any form or fashion. That's why I be like, I be more afraid of her speaking so much because I don't be knowing... Cause these the motherfuckers in Chicago is fucking retarded out there, man. These niggas is crazy. You dig what I'm saying? I just, my, my prayers go to her, protecting her, and that she'll be all straight. And that the guys around her keep her safe and, you know what I mean, out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you before, she's a mom before anything. And I respect her all the way. You know what I mean? But like I said before, sometimes this is be grown man business. And, you know, niggas get in their feelings, start acting all emotional and, and be trying to do some reckless stuff. You know what I mean? That's why I was saying <laughs> they need to take uh, FBG Duck Mom on Instagram and, and take her phone out of her hand because I don't know what these niggas' intentions be. And I just, you know I mean, my prayers definitely go to her for her losses and things of that nature. And now we got a, uh, another loss in Chicago. You know what I mean? Like I told you before, man, see these situations piling up. Like I told you, man, when drill music came to all the different cities and stuff like that, it definitely created a different energy. And you know what I'm saying? And like I said before, man, um, I see a lot of guys changing their ways and trying to become better people. But, man, it's, 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 it's like a wicked thing out here, man, smoking on this and smoking on that and everybody laughing and playing about death. You know what I'm saying? I was just talking to my mans about that. I said, damn, man. It, it was one point in time when somebody passed away, people really cried tears and actually cared about the life of their brother or their sister. And, you know what I mean? Nowadays, it's... Everything fake this, everything fake that. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I don't want to see none of mine go. You know what I mean? I love all my family and friends. No matter how much we have a disagreement or we have a little bump in the road, we can work work through it and get through certain certain scenarios and situations. Like the other day, I was uh talking about the support within the city of Virginia and us all coming together from guys like the bloggers to the rap niggas to everybody coming together and just creating a unity. I, I feel like. 
we all can create what happened in New York and Atlanta and the West Coast as we stand together because we got a lot of talented artists, people like myself that's talented and all the things that I'm doing business-wise and things of that nature. I was just watching the um, King Von and Melly uh, uh, manager interview on 22, uh, I think it's uh, album 22 or whatever. I said, man, that interview was, that, that was a plug interview, bro. Even though he's younger than me, I was inspired by the message that he was saying. It was like, I didn't, he, he basically was saying, like, I came from a place of coming from the cell to believing in something that I didn't know how, know how to put it together in any form or fashion. But I stuck to, stick to his guns and he figured it out and he began to working with Vaughn and all these different, um, what's called that black, uh, it's going to come to me in a minute, man. Jack Boy, he said he was working with Jack Boy, uh. Came Vaughn and you know I mean, Melly and multiple artists, but he said basically it, it was his experience as being an artist and then him being able to put everything together by just putting in the hard work. And that's what I do every time I get on my platform. Like like I said before, like I love to work with different people and ha have a mixture. I reached out to a couple of people to do some interviews and stuff like that. We're going to see what happened with that. But like I say, definitely I'm going to start reaching out to local artists. We're going to chop it up. We're going to put it together the proper way. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to get up there and we're going to all bring light to the city. Because I love my city, Virginia. You know what I mean? Even like I like, okay, Pooh Shiesty, right? You know what I mean? Even when he talk about Memphis, he always say that what he was saying, like, it's a lot of hate and stuff like that. He love where he come from. Just like me, I love where I come from. I know sometimes within the city, we wish things was a little bit better. I definitely would say that. I'm the, I am definitely say that. You know what I'm saying? Because when I look at artists like uh, Young Crazy and, and, and the the uh, uh, Young Malian and the different guys that's out here that's doing it, I feel like this, man. Unity and everybody coming together, even though it can't always happen that way because of the violence in the city and the disagreements, I just feel like we got to bridge the gap to bringing the city into a strong place because I feel like we have the talent in our city just as much as Atlanta, New York, and L.A. and stuff like that. And we got realness, too. You know what I mean? We real. We straight from the core and all of that. You dig what I'm saying? But like I told you, all the local guys hit my line on the uh, email. Hey, listen. Do this, too. Anybody that's a rap nigga, any, I don't give a fuck what city you from. You a rap nigga. We trying to do interviews. You trying to promote your stuff. We putting it all on the Instagram. That's what I'm saying. We building it one step at a time. We all going to be a family. I'm going to promote your stuff. We all promote each other. It's called a unity, bro. Any local rapper, for, I don't give a fuck which city you from, Virginia, Detroit, nigga, I'm trying to talk to all my brethren. If you a sister out there that sang, that rap, let's work together. Let's build this gap. Let's bridge the gap. We a culture. Let's stop killing each other. Let's stop fighting against each other. Let's work together. We all got the same dream. You know what that dream is? It's to push success and not death. And not to kill one another. Let's let's work together in a positive sense. I told you, my my email and everything is out there. Let's work together. Let's promote together. Let let's come together. You did what I'm saying. Like I told you before, there's enough money for all of us to win and have a victorious victories. You know what I mean? Let's work together. Let's let's br let's let's bridge that gap of negativity and bring it to a positive standpoint. Like I said before, I went on my little rant. <laughs> I went on my little rant. You know, I seen a couple of people saying it or whatever. You know what I mean? But like, my whole point was this, though, man. Growing up in Virginia, right? Of course, you had a lot. Of course, I got a lot of people from different places that got love from me. They hit your line. Like, Charlotte, what you talking about, man? <laughs> I said, no, it ain't even like that. I know it's love. I, look, listen, man. This is what people be getting fucked up. It's love. It's definitely love and child apart. It's definitely love in different places of the city for what I do and just me in general as a person. I get that. That's not what I was saying. I was saying, basically, it's some people that don't, that have that. That's the area where you go, though. You know what I mean? That's the area where you go. Like I say, man, as we build together, as we work together, we're going to create we gonna create a different movement. That's what I'm saying. Let's let's, let's start this today. Get into the uh, comment section. Put up 100 sign if you're an artist and let's work together. Get on the Instagram. Come bring the video. We're going to put your video up. And we're going to start sharing it all over all platforms. And we're going to get, we're gonna get we're, look, the buzz going to come. We're going we're gonna to all work together. Duck, you feel what I'm saying? But rest in peace to uh, FUG Measle. Rest in peace to FUG Duck. Rest in peace to all the fallen soldiers out there. So unfortunate deaths and, and things of that nature. And much respect to Mama Duck out there. I respect what she's saying. Please 
I just pray, pray God protect her and keep her safe because Chicago is a fucked up ass city to be in and to have, for her to be an outspoken person. That's why I fear so much. And I love, like I say, some stuff I agree with, some stuff I don't agree with. You know what I'm saying? But I would love to do an interview with her. I would love to have a conversation with her because I definitely would be like, well, I just think the internet shit can get, it can get misconstrued uh, and can go the way left. That's what you see with the artists that come with the disc records. And I guess that's why the guy was dissing them back. You know what I mean? Because he came with a disc record. But our culture is chewing each other up like fucking sharks in the ocean. You know what I mean? We got to stop. Like I told you, we can, we can all pick up a gun and go shoot y'all brother in, but God damn. You know what I'm saying? Like we got to change the narrative, bro. I'm tired of this shit. Like I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I remember my wife was like, why, um, Black Lives Matter don't go to Chicago. Nigga, them niggas kill people for real in Chicago. That's why. Black Lives Matter know that. They walk down the street. They gonna get popped in their ass. They know that. Chicago niggas is some type of different of crazy, nigga. Niggas don't play to go to Chicago. You hear what, what, what Dirt said about me? He said, I'm about to go to Chicago and shoot a video. I'm like, I know Dirt. looking at this nigga like, bro, what the fuck? Bro, you about to go do what? Like, just because you come from Philly in a hard part of Philly. You're not from Chicago. These niggas, first of all, dirt people gonna even look at you crazy. Like, nigga, what you trying to say? You you shitting on the hood or something? Like, dirt ain't gonna better stop that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's just a sound of disrespect. You might be trying to disrespect the whole hood, nigga, but you gotta get consent for that type of shit. Man, them type of neighborhoods, man, them niggas will pop your top. The only reason 6 9 got away with that nigga had the whole um, police force. Like, what nigga gonna come out and shoot at the police? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and you coming with this regular homeboys? Man, that shit gonna be fireworks, but <laughs> Y'all know that shit. I mean, that's no here, no deal, man. God bless us all to all my people, man. Peace to my gods, my Israelites, you know what I mean? All my fat, and I mean, all my Muslim brothers and sisters out there. You dig what I'm saying? Christian brothers and sisters, man. We got a blessed one today. You dig what I'm saying? I'm still picking me homes in the Super Bowl. You dig what I'm saying? All my loved ones, all my G's out there. You dig what I'm saying? Listen, man. We're going to mob together. We're going to fight together. We're going to ride together. You dig what I'm saying? And like I told you before, I love everybody. But listen, man. Virginia, Tyler Park, where I come from, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tyler Park, man. Hope Street, man. Money Block. You dig what I'm saying? It's going to always be that, man. You know what I'm saying? Hitting my line, talking about what the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. <laughs> I was in my feelings that day, man. <laughs> I love all y'all, man. Y'all know I love the city of Virginia, man. So I, just don't, I don't be liking some of the shit that be popping off, you know what I mean? But like I say, it's all love, man. I know that. I know that respectfully. You know what I mean? All my good sisters out there, all my queens, you know what I mean? All my queens all over, though. You dig what I'm saying? I love all y'all out there. Y'all need to get in the comments. Let's talk. Let's build together. Let's let's market together. You dig what I'm saying? Let's promote together. Talk to me sometimes, man. Y'all get in the comment section. You dig what I'm saying? We're going to do emails and all that. Let's work together. You feel me? Man, this shit right here is a family business, baby. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all link up. What we're going to talk. We're going to do the interviews. We're going to do all of that, man. Like I say, I ain't bigger than nobody. You dig what I'm saying? I'm down to earth all the way, man. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like I told y'all before, I ain't number love, G. Y'all know that, man. I love VA. You know what I'm saying? Love Chicago. Love uh, De De uh, Detroit. I'm my Detroit guys, my New York guys, my Philly guys. Y'all know, man. I'm, I'm all over, G. You know what I'm saying? We're going to market. We're going to work together. You know what I'm saying? We're promoting a lot of local guys. I seen one guy, he, he got on the rent like me. <laughs> I said, bro, don't worry about nothing. Give me the video, buddy. I'm going to put your rap jank up right now with the fire emojis. You know what I'm saying? For real. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about it, baby. Let's build together. You dig what I'm saying? But like I said, that Adam on 22 joint with uh, Kane Vaughn Manager, that was inspiring because it showed that you don't have to have a college degree and all of that. You just got to have motivation, bro. Get up every day and just work hard. If you a rap nigga, put out your videos, make your stuff, travel the world, bro. Get your bag together. Fuck all that. Not, not nobody believing or supporting. Work with the niggas like me that's, that's willing to support you. They're willing to put it out. Willing to help you. Let's work together. That's all I'm saying. Fuck all the niggas that ain't going to help you with it. Run with the niggas that is going to help you with it. And let's build together. Let's bridge that gap. You feel what I'm saying? Love is love, G. You know what I'm saying? But I'm out, man. Peace, God. To all my good people. All my guys out there. And all my queens out there, man. Y'all all link up. Hit me. Like I said, get in the um comment section. Let's talk about it. You feel me? I'm out, Jazzy. Love y'all, man. Peace, God.